So my name's Tom Broughton. I founded a spectacles company called Cubits five and a half years ago. We founded Cubits with this idea to make people excited about spectacles again. I think anyone that's worn spectacles at school um, quickly becomes known as the specky four-eyed kid, and that was me. Spectacles always played a really big uh, role in my life, and I really got into them. Like, we like, we like we sort of differentiate our products and our services, I think by just doing stuff in our kind of cubits way, frankly. Kind of a bunch of people that really care. <laughs> and not just about the product, but also about the service, but care about how the customer feels. You know, it's really important for us to be honest with, uh, with people. So, you know, we'll regularly say to customers, don't buy that. <laughs> you, look, you look bad in that. That's the wrong thing for you. And I think that that sort of feeds into, um, yeah, the kind of the, the culture and the, and the aura, which hopefully feeds into the retail experience and the digital experience and all of the word, word of mouth that hopefully kind of bubbles up around us. We do a lot of things that are that are different that don't exist anywhere else. So where I am now is our um, spectacle workshop, our King's Cross workshop, which when we opened it was the it's the only spectacle making workshop in the whole of. London, central London anyway. And we try and do everything in house, right through from um, the design, source all of our materials, we make our product, we even glaze the product. That's the process of cutting a lens and fitting in a frame. We do all of our repairs in house. We do everything in house really. And I think we can only uh, maintain the kind of standards, the quality standards that we want by doing that, frankly. And the, the particular thing that gets me really excited is how we can use technology to improve that whole experience. So using technology to completely democratise bespoke. You know, for 200 years, from 1727 till the start of the 20th century, bespoke spectacle making was like, you know, that was the standard way you had a pair of spectacles, right? Um, and it's only really in the past 100 years that it's moved much towards a kind of one-size-fits-all, mass-produced, injection-moulded, don't care about sizing, don't care about the customer. And there's something really cool, I think, about technology enabling the best bits of the first two centuries of spectacle making. There's, there's, there's few things that are as kind of democratic and pervasive as a pair of spectacles. So it would be cool if we could take what we have here and use technology to grow that around the world. We've always had a kind of, um, an, uh, I guess, an up and down relationship with ad advertising. Because um, we've never really had a plan. In those first couple of years, it was just all about a pound spent here is a pound not spent there. So we tried a little bit with things like, you know, Facebook advertising, which was, you know, at the time quite relatively nascent. And I, and I think whenever developing kind of marketing advertising a strategy or plan, you really need to think about the characteristics of the product. Because for us, most this is a ubiquitous thing, a pair of spectacles, right? 69% of the population have one, but people don't buy them very often. They generally only own one. Um, and it's a very sort of slow and considered purchase cycle. So as a consequence, your marketing and brand building messages have to be, yeah, nuanced. You can't just hit somebody over the head relentlessly with, advertising, advertising. So for us, it's about realising that and trying to tailor the message so that at the point that they go to a sporting event and can't see the players or go and watch some art house film and can't read the subtitles, you know, we want to be <laughs> front of mind at that point so that they think, ah, there's that really nice spectacles company that I came across online or by walking past the store my friend told me about. So that's what that's the kind of what we're trying to capture. And our view is very much if we do that and create a brand, the sales will follow. 